Aircraft mechanic Ray Bailey was serving aboard the USS Franklin on March 19, 1945, off the coast of Japan, when two bombs hit the aircraft carrier. Bailey struggled to make his way aft to help fight the fire. Went down, uh, there was a two-section ladder. You come out and you're facing port, and you, you grab the handrails and you slide down and get halfway down, and you make a 180-degree turn, and you're facing starboard and slide the rest of the way down. I should have looked before I slid. There was a guy burnt to the damn ladder. And he's looking over his shoulder back aft. And he was in a running motion. And I said, hell, I couldn't stop. Sliding down on my bare hands. His fingers broke loose and he just rolled to his left toward the after end of the ship. And he was laying on the deck in a frozen position. I had blood inside my shoes. It cut holes in my shoes. And I think I got it from a pit penetrating his body, but the outside of his body was cooked. And uh, I had cut holes in my boondockers for that athlete's foot, and I was trying to get enough air in there to dry up my feet. And uh, later on, even after being in the water, there was co coagulated blood in my socks. And I was, holy cow, I must have penetrated that guy when I gave him a kick off that rail. So that was my the worst experience I think I had. Despite the massive damage, the brave and determined crew of the Franklin saved her from sinking. They managed to sail the devastated carrier from the coast of Japan to New York City, where she was repaired. 